Hey guys, it's Shenoheed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of what happens if suicide grunts in Halo uh, survive their own explosions. So, starting with Halo 3, suicide grunts were first introduced, and that happens when you know, their, their leaders, like the elite or the brute that's le leading them, they die. So the grunts, you know, left another choice. They just pull out two plasma grenades and try to blow you up with them. But recently, some people have been asking me, what happens if they survive that explosion? Just, uh, do they, you know, do they continue going on as normal? Do they just pull out their weapons again or stuff like that? Well, I've seen quite a bit of speculation for what happened. Some people speculated like they get stuck in a glitched animation or they're in like a weird T-pose or something like that. Or some people speculated like nothing happens. They just pull out their weapon again and just continue as normal. Well, it's possible to find out what happens. And if you turn on like the thunderstorm, mythic and tilt skulls, then once the suicide grunt blows up, then they won't die. They'll actually survive. And after they survive, well, in the case of Halo 3, the Grunt becomes weaponless and just kind of walks around or runs away from Chief and doesn't really do much at all. Uh, in fact, the yeah, the weaponless Grunt in Halo 3, it just, um, from my experience, it just it just ran around <laughs> doing nothing. Uh, but as for Halo Reach, the Suicide Grunts, they, they're a little different this time around compared to Halo 3. So just like Halo 3, the suicide grunts. Uh, if you turn on uh, several skulls like Mythic, Tilt, and Thunderstorm, then they'll be strong enough to survive uh, their own explosions, even on easy difficulty. Now, as a result, on Halo Reach, when the suicide grunt survives, they also go weaponless afterwards. But this time's a little bit different. The grunt will be holding like an invisible plasma pistol. It'll be in that same pose, even though it's still technically weaponless. And the grunt will just keep like backing up away from you, and I guess kind of like shouting at you as well. But it won't be able to attack you at all, because you know grunts don't have melee abilities. So that's pretty much the extent of what the Halo Reach grunts do when they survive their own explosions. Now, as for Halo 4, Halo 4 is very odd. So it seems like in Halo 4, suicide grunts, no matter what you do, they just will never survive. Uh, my friend Photos Chaos actually even tried like all of the legendary difficulty with a bunch of skulls on to the point where it's like borderline lasso difficulty. And no matter what, the suicide grunts just don't survive. So to put this to the test, to see what happens uh, if the grunts die regardless of you know whatever they're scripted to do, I made them all invincible. Uh, I modded them that way and that guarantees them to be invincible. And as a result, when that happens, the grunts do now survive their own explosions. And when they do survive, weird things start happening. So on some rare occasions, the grunts get stuck in like the same animation or the same pose. But in most occasions, when the grunts survive their own uh, suicide explosions, well, this is where things get weird. They end up in some weird like slow motion glitchy animation. And y you'll see it for like pretty much every grunt here when I did this. But see, they just start charging at me in like slow motion uh, with like weird poses and like mid animation. They sometimes just like glitch and just, yeah, just, you know, they're, they're, it just goes like crazy. And I can't even like really describe it. But um, yeah, the, the, the grunt just like freaks out essentially. And yeah, that, that, that pretty much uh, tells us that the grunts in Halo 4, you know, at first when they kept dying, uh, we just thought that maybe the grunts were just weaker compared to the other Halo games and that there was really no way to save them from their own explosions. But as it turns out, it really seems to be the case that in Halo 4, uh, suicide grunts, they, well, they fully live up to their names. They they die no matter what you do. Because uh, I guess that's maybe they're scripted that way or something like that. But if you make them invincible, then that, that totally breaks the grunts for the most part. They they no longer function correctly anymore. They um, they often get stuck in the same pose or they have a looping animation that they can't get out of or they just go into weird slow motion animations while trying to charge you. So the fact that like their animations are broken once they survive uh, you know, by modding, then that, that does kind of suggest that it's true that they were never meant to survive at all in Halo 4 compared to you know Halo 3 and Reach. So there you guys have it. That's what happens if a suicide grunt survives his explosions in each of the Halo games. So 
Hopefully you guys did find this video to be interesting, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a thoughts in the comments, let me know if there's anything, anything else you need to check out. But other than that, make sure to make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!